Good morning. It is going to be another warm day with highs this afternoon, making it into the mid 80s inland, upper 70s to low 80s as you look towards the coastline. And in fact, this morning we're starting off with those very warm temperatures. By 8 o'clock, we're already into the low 70s in a lot of areas, 82 at noon and 84 at 4 o'clock with a mix of sun and clouds, at times partly cloudy, at times mostly sunny. The good news is if you've got outdoor plans today, it looks like the rain chances are going to hold off until after sunset this evening, but we still do have that very beneficial rain in the forecast, so good news there. It's 64 right now in Walterboro, 68 currently in Kings Tree and Monk's Corner, 70 Georgetown in Somerville, and it's 74 on Folly Beach. So here's a look at your highs for this afternoon. 85 Charleston and Goose Creek this afternoon, 79 in McClellanville, a little bit cooler up across the northern tier in Williamsburg and Georgetown County with 76 for the afternoon high in Kings Tree. It's 81 in Georgetown, 84 in Somerville, and 79 on Edisto Beach with the south wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. That chance for rain really goes up as we head into the overnight hours with some thunderstorms mixing in as well. Temperatures still pretty mild though because of that increased cloud cover. So we're still talking mid to upper 60s for overnight lows inland, low 70s at the beaches. So let's talk about that rain chance. Right now our satellite radar picture shows a fairly clear sky across the area, but we have the rain back off to our west across the upstate of South Carolina, northern Georgia, that center of low pressure moving across northern Georgia right now. And it's going to continue to move off to the east as we head through the day today. So that's going to bring us that rain chance as early as this evening. Now what Futurecast is picking up on is the potential that we could see a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms mainly along the sea breeze this afternoon. I think this is overdone. I do think you're okay to go ahead with those outdoor plans for this afternoon, but do keep an eye to the sky and just be prepared to head indoors if one of those thunderstorms does develop along the sea breeze in your area. Really the better chance is going to come as we head into the overnight hours. A little scattered in nature to start off with and then it becomes more widespread. Pockets of heavy rain is expected through the day on Monday with thunderstorms sprinkled in between as well, and it continues into Monday night. Again, starting to become a little more scattered in nature Monday night and then tapering off Tuesday morning. So let's talk about the potential threats uh, with this, and one of the biggest threats is going to be those heavy downpours. Look, taking a look at your rainfall totals, we're expecting anywhere from an inch to around four inches of rain possible, especially across the northern tier here. We do have a flash flood watch that's already been issued for Williamsburg and Georgetown County starting this evening and going through Tuesday morning. The lower rainfall totals will be to the south. The further north you go, the higher your rainfall totals are going to be. The good news is because we've been fairly dry lately, that risk of flash flooding is still fairly low, but not completely zero. Lightning and heavy rain, again, a five out of five. Uh, chance for damaging winds is on the lower side, not completely out of the question. Large hail also continues to be a moderate threat. I can't completely rule out an isolated tornado, especially this evening. This evening looks very interesting because we're losing the heat of the day, so that brings down the potential for severe weather. However, we do have a couple other severe weather parameters that are in place this evening, so we're going to have to monitor that very carefully. I can't completely rule it out, but it's not a high risk for severe weather tonight. We do have a chance that some of these storms could become strong to possibly severe again tomorrow afternoon, and then things taper off as you look into Tuesday evening, Tuesday, I should say, through the day. Really, those storms going to kind of taper off by around daybreak on Tuesday. Cooler temperatures to Macy on Monday and Tuesday. Highs in the mid 70s before we get back to the upper 70s to mid 80s the rest so of the week. So good news that our weekend is looking like it's going to stay pretty dry. At least yes. for the times you're probably going to want to be outside. Yeah, but we're still going to get that rain as early as this evening. Right.